There it is. I was gonna say, that's not the thank you he wants. Oh, what? He's ready to die. Welcome back, Shonen. I'm Kieran. I came out the womb watching anime, and it's time to react to Jujutsu Kaisen episode 13. It seems we're gonna get the fight continued with Nanami and Itadori Yuji versus Mahito. Bruh. Last episode was kind of disgusting. <sighs> I didn't expect. I did not expect Junpei to actually straight up just die. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I think they clickbaited everybody with that opening. But something that was super interesting to me from last episode was um, Itadori's contradiction of his own beliefs. I know everyone in the comments is saying like, oh, it's a, it's a curse, so he doesn't actually kill a curse anyway. He did not say he wanted to exercise him. The words that left my man Yuji's lips were, I want to kill you. For Yuji, this was about killing ending someone's life out of revenge. It was not exercising to protect anyone. And I think that's where the contradiction of his beliefs came and why his own character felt strange and off to even himself. But yeah, man, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how the fight progresses. Hopefully we'll get some kind of, um, I don't know, inkling on whether or not Yuji himself can actually learn to um, control the souls of other people and like form, form or reform his own souls because Honestly, they said Sukuna used to be, um, used to be human, and then he became a curse. It, did that happen because Sukuna, um, he could change the form of his own soul, and he did that to an extent where he grew extra limbs and these eyes and stuff? Like, he's clearly changing Yuji's soul to be able to pop that eye up on his face, is, is my guess. So, I don't know, maybe Yuji can, can, uh, gain that power for himself, that'll be interesting. I also want to say Merry Christmas to those that celebrate, by the way, and for those that don't, Hope you have a damn good day. I appreciate you guys watching the content and make sure to subscribe. We're so close to 2000 subscribers. So close. I appreciate you guys supporting getting there. It's been a lot of fun reacting to anime content. More stuff on the way for you guys. If we hit that 2000, I'm thinking about maybe doing um, a Code Geass reaction. If not, maybe Gurren Lagann or something else. You guys let me know in the comments what else you'd, you know, be interested in seeing me react to. Damn, my man Junpei out on the floor. Please tell me there's a chance for him to be alive still. Like, you can see his tears still. That's messed up. All right, and here's the moment when Nanami realizes that for some reason, Yuji can attack Mahito. I can't wait to see this team up and see how it works out. All right, we got the uh, the defense and attack combo, like that one uh, that one combo from Sword Art Online at the stop. Switch. I'll keep an eye on Itadori. Literally, he got an extra eye for that. Damn, I'm not going to lie. Mahito is pretty cool. Like, his ability as well. Like, I know he's a villain, but we gotta give him props. Damn, that was cool. Yo, he's such a danger. He's coming up with moves on the spot. Why he looks so cute running away like that? He got them goat legs back. Oh, why are they so close? Look at their faces. Yo, he's literally just a kid. Make him behave. What's he gonna do? Oh, okay, so he keeps humans inside his body. Oh, he knows those things won't be enough to kill Yuji. I hate how he's testing Yuji. I'm glad Yuji at least is keeping to a... Uh, Damn, it's... It's hurting me how bad he feels about that. Let's play. These were clearly little kids, man. Oh my god! I just realized! These are the same three from the Juju scroll. The Agumon looking one. Kill me. Oh, dude. Oh, that's messed up. The same ones that were playing Pop-Up Pirate in the Juju scroll. Did Yuji actually take them out or not? That one kid did say kill me. I don't know if Yuji would even take his life for that. Oh, damn, they're messing Mahito up right now. <laughs> this is bullying. Fresh inspiration. He's about to come up with something crazy right now. I don't like it. Is this his first time fearing death? He bets he could do it. Do what? Change the shape of his soul to what? Oh, a domain expansion. Oh, God, this ain't good. Wait, is he doing a bunch of ninja hand signs? Yeah, this is terrible. I wonder what kind of power-up this gives him, his own domain. Damn, this fight made him grow stronger and unlock some crazy abilities. Wait, Yuji's not even in the domain. Oh, I don't like this. Don't tell me this is it for Nanami. Oh, because he can't get hurt in there. Nanami can't hurt him. Nanami doesn't have a domain. Yeah, he's like, Nanami can't do anything. That's why I quit. Wait, wait, he ran away from being a jujitsu sorcerer? Ah, oh, she remembers what he likes. Did he have a crush on her? Blyhead? What? That's just a curse on her. Oh, he, he worked in sales. That's what he did as a salaryman. 
Who is this guy? What the hell is his problem? Wow, Nanami doesn't have a reason for living or anything like that. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Giving me Shikamaru vibes with the whole, oh, he's just trying to chill, enjoy his life. So what changed that he no longer became obsessed with money? Oh, he's starting to look real bad. That's a weight on my shoulders? It's literally a curse on your shoulders, lady. I wonder why he's telling her all that. Oh, he's gonna take care of the curse for her? I guess maybe he's just thinking he wants some importance in his life. Ah, oh, she seems so much happier. Is hearing that thank you what made him think being a jujitsu sorcerer is worth it in the end? Oh, he's about to call up Gojo like, hey, yo, I'm coming back. There it is. I was going to say, that's not the thank you he wants. Oh, what? He's ready to die. Oh, thank God. Yuji broke in. Thank you. At the moment, he was ready to die. My boy. What a lad. How did he break into the domain? Oh, is that a rule we knew about domains before? Oh, domains are easy to invade, but no one tries doing it because why the hell would you go inside a domain? Right. Yo, he about to get his world rocked by Mahita. Oh, Sukuna. Oh. <laughs> what? Wait, so Sukuna's just gonna deal with Mahita? Why does he only care about Megumi so much? I need to know what it is that Megumi's got that Sukuna's so concerned by. I can't wait to see. I know that Sukuna is the one that basically took care of Mahito right now, but I'm glad that Yuji's courage was rewarded like that. Oh, he's bleeding out. Can curses bleed out? I mean, he's bleeding, so... Do they have a limited supply, or...? Damn, Yuji's speed, dude. Oh, he still wants to kill him. Wait, what's Mahito doing? What the hell is he gonna be? Some JRPG final boss. Alright, Yuji's confident he's gonna hit his final blow now. Dude... The art on this looks really cool. Yo. So that's going to hit him from the inside. It's kind of like Ryo from One Piece, actually. Now, pop my boy like a balloon. Wait. Wait, he's still... Wait, he's escaping. Oh, my God. Every time they let him go and he just gets stronger. Oh, damn. I was going to say, Yuji got holes in him. I'm surprised he could hold out for that long. Nanami's going to save Yuji instead of taking care of him. There we go. Okay, I'm glad he actually went to save Yuji rather than leaving him to die to kill Mahito. But still, this man just keeps escaping. It's ridiculous. Wow. That's a good point. He's not even at full strength and Sukuna's still messing him up. The Age of Curses. So they're trying to make curses basically rule the world? Kill his soul. So he says he's killing Yuji. He killed Yuji's soul because he forced Yuji to kill. Like those three kids that he turned into humans. So I guess he's just trying to figure out a way to... Wow, is he going to try and make Yuji become some form of curse too? I wonder how Sukuna became a curse. Is it because he lost his humanity so much? Because it's it's possible that... The, the changes that Mahito's attempting to make on Yuji's character by forcing him into decisions that contradict who he is... It makes me wonder whether or not that can turn Yuji into a curse of sorts. That's kind of interesting. Oh, damn. Are these all students? Wow. Yuji's bravery really indirectly saved Nanami. Right, so that means that Mahito's domain automatically touches the soul of anyone who enters. That's kind of scary. So Yuji thought by killing them, he was giving them a proper death? Yuji's got to find his answer on what exactly life and death mean to him. Yo, this is so deep. Wait, who's this girl? So is this after what happened? I'm guessing she's reporting those other kids for bullying. Yep, there we go. He got reported by that girl that saw. Yo, this guy is trash. Like, he got caught and he's still acting like it's not his fault and kind of acting the victim. Wow, at least the teacher's taking responsibility for what they did. I still can't believe Junpei's dead, though. That's crazy to me. Wow, until I kill him? I thought he wanted to find out what proper death is. Is is he going to find his answer by killing Mahito? That kind of seems contradictory. Oh, he won't lose again? I sure as hell hope not. Yuji's going to have to get a lot stronger and smarter, I guess. Is this Juju Scroll really giving us a recipe? Really? Gordon Ramsay cooking show now? Yuji taught him how to make those. I'm shocked. They still think Yuji's dead. That's sad. His legacy. Ah, oh, that's cute. 
I wonder if they'll get to meet back up again next episode. How close are we to the tournament? Good episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. That, man, that brought a lot of questions into play when it came. I didn't expect Yuji to kill Aguman and pals. Like, it's weird because we saw those same three in the Juju scroll of the previous episode, like innocently playing pop up pirate, and now Yuji has killed them. That's kind of wild. Like, there was no way to try and bring them back at that time. He just had to deal with them. And it's it's really disturbing how Mah Mahito is trying to twist and change Yuji's soul. I don't know whether or not that would allow for... Maybe that's... He's trying to do that because it will allow for Sukuna to become more uh, prominent to be able to take over Yuji. Like, that's a possibility that I'm thinking of right now that could happen. Um, other than that, he may just be doing it for kicks. He may just think it's funny. That's why he's doing this. And honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, he's a curse, like, and he's childlike, so that makes a lot of sense too. This series is definitely, um, you know, not exactly going along with my expectations, and I quite like that. It's, it's definitely making me wonder what's coming next, um, how exactly characters are going to act and change. Like, it's been, what, like 13 episodes and Yuji's already gone against his own morals and killed a human being. And he, he wants to kill Mahito. I hope he does find an answer to what a, uh, a proper death is, though. I'm super curious as to what exactly that will mean for him. And it seems as though his character's starting to form a little bit. Like, he was afraid to. Like, his, he's he feels grey. Like, I, I really hope this doesn't end in him becoming darker and more, like, edgy. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying his character and who he is a lot and how they're exploring him and what he's feeling and going through. But man, I don't, I don't want him to change too much from the way he is. I, I like his character a lot already. So it's going to be interesting to see um, how exactly they go about this during the series. The other thing, though, is I quite liked how they touched on Nanami. Um, they kind of explained more his backstory and the way that he went into um, being a salaryman. Uh, because he hated being a Jujutsu sorcerer, but it seems as though now he... He's found his way and his reason is to save people, to help people, to get their, their gratitude that that makes him happy, it seems. Like to the point where he was fine dying because he'd lived a, um, a life he was proud of as a Jujutsu Sorcerer. But then obviously my man Yuji came through and saved him. What do you guys think of this episode though? Like are you... How, how are you feeling about Yuji's morals? How Do you really think he's going to kill Mahito? Do you think he's going to go back on that? What the hell do you think a proper death is? If you know from the manga, obviously, please do not spoil us. Anime only here. Uh, if you have any anime only theories, for example, if these questions have not been answered in the manga, feel free. If you haven't, make sure to subscribe, you guys. There are so many of you that watch these videos that are not subscribed. It's actually crazy and it helps out a lot. Again, we're super close to that 2000. By the end of next year, I want to try and see if we can hit that 10,000. That'll be incredible. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you next time.